Welcome to the QB Sales Data QuickBooks Link for Act video library. This video will cover how to run a manual transaction sync to bring QuickBooks sales data into Act. The assumption here is that you've already gone through and linked your records between QuickBooks and Act, so all of your important Act records have a QB ID number in the QB ID field. At this point, you've got records linked between ACT and QuickBooks but there's no sales data yet so you'll notice that your past due balance information your sales data fields are all blank and your QB transactions tab and your QB items tab are also blank so we need to run what's called the transaction sync in order to bring that information into ACT before we actually run a manual transaction sync let's talk about what happens during the transaction sync process so it's actually an import we're going to be importing QuickBooks information into ACT so we'll go to the tools QB sales data import option within ACT and we'll be looking at the transaction sync tab just like this diagram describes we'll pick the date range of the information that we want to bring into ACT we can pick whether we want to run it on all contacts or the current lookup. And we're also able to select what type of transactions come over. Then when we click on the Transaction Sync button, it will actually go out to QuickBooks and pull in QuickBooks transactions for the appropriate ACT records that have QuickBooks ID numbers. And it will also fill in the additional QuickBooks fields, such as the QuickBooks account number, QuickBooks terms, credit limit, price level, and so on. And finally, it will recalculate the last invoice date, the sales total fields, and also the past due balance fields. So all of those items happen when you run the transaction sync from within ACT. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to switch over to ACT and as I mentioned before I'm going to go to tools and QB sales data import and we're on the transaction sync tab and in this case I'm going to go ahead and click on all invoices and I'm just going to run it on the current lookup here. Uh, when you're doing your first transaction sync after you've linked all your records you can pick and choose how far to go back and you may want to run it on all contacts or you may want to run it just on a small set of records to start with just to see what the data looks like and in this case I'm going to go ahead and pick all the transactions and when I'm ready to sync I'm going to go ahead and click on the transaction sync button and it will run through and in this case it's just going to update the sales information for my one record which is ABC Electric. At this point the sync is complete and you'll notice here that I do have transactions data in the past due balances, last invoice date, the peripheral QuickBooks fields we talked about, and all of the sales totals for the last three years have been filled out as well. If I switch over to the QB transactions tab we have data there as well and also on the QB items tab. Okay, so just to recap, whenever you want to run or update the data as far as the transactions, the totals, past due balances, you can simply go to Tools, QB Sales Data Import, select your range, select whether you want it to be on all contacts or the current lookup, and click on the transaction sync, and you're done. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it was informative. And feel free to watch any of the other videos in our video library.